Hello everyone, I am Professor Vikram Sharga from MIT College Aurangabad. Now I will have a live demonstration on what exactly a database Postgres SQL and how to connect that Postgres SQL with your JSP application. So first of all, I will create a new project in Eclipse. I will give the project name as let's say MVC Demo. And simultaneously, I'll create one table in Postgres SQL. So I'll just open PG Admin <coughs> and Postgres and create one table. So here I'll create one table. Let's say create table. See customer. So the customer ID is the numeric primary key and cust name, let's say, as a wire care. So you'll see my table gets created now. Continue with Eclipse. File create new dynamic web project as we are doing the web application. New dynamic web application. So we are select the server, selecting Apache Tomcat version 7, finding the directories. So my directory is in C drive. And give the project name, let's say. MVC project. Just click next, next, click finish. <coughs> now you see the project is created. Now create create a new JSP page. So I'm creating the first page as customer.jsp. I'll change the font. So here create the page from back and action I'll redirect to the success.jsp page. Uh, here I'll give the message customer ID and input tag input type equals to let's take it as text we will display the text box name equals to first field is customer id similarly i'll take customer name so here we will give the message under the customer name and here will be a submit button so let's type a submit and the value will be submit this is my JSP page next step is I'll create one package so call dot mit so in this package I'll create one interface first so it will be my provider interface let's finish it now here I'll declare some variables. So first variable would be username. So it will be my database username. Password, I'll give the password of that database. 
and we require one connection URL. So we'll do my JDBC colon post SQL colon localhost colon five four three three and the database name. So we'll see. This will be my connection URL. The next step is we need to create one more class that will contain that will contain a common connection function, connection provider, and it will implement my recently created interface. So here, uh, the necessary thing is we have to import the package Java dot scale. Here I declare connection object. Con equals to null. Now I'll create one function. So public static connection as a return type and the function name. To try catch block to handle with catch the exception during runtime and display if any error comes. And it wants compensate to be return one object that is return con. Now, here load the drivers so driver name will be oyg dot post the SQL dot driver and instantiate that connection object by driver manager dot get connection scorn URL comma username comma password and this will get it from provider interface from provider interface now next step is create a bean class so I'm creating a bean class let's say customer bean finish so my two fields were cust id and cust name just remember one thing this customer id custom name should be same as the name we have given in the JSP page so now generate the cater set is for this Going source and generate cutter set setters have to set it for all. Click finish. Okay, so you see all the data setters generated. Next step is need to create one business logic or business functionality. So, here let's check with my customer dao which will consist of insert function delete whatever values that you want to insert or whatever the records for the customer that you want to insert in the dao class so click finish so again here i need to import package java.sql here i need to declare variables database objects say common and we require prepared statement also skip this PST create with function now we will static function so you can type let's take it this integer and let's give the function name as insert customer let's give the parameter customer bean because whatever the values that I will set is set under the bean class Begin with the try catch if any error comes to handle that exception. Fine. Now I'll declare one integer variable that says status equals to zero. Now it will return zero or status 
if any error comes otherwise it will return some value one value it means it indicates that value is inserted and the first step is to initialize connection so it is there in the connection dot get connection establish the connection equals to con dot prepare statement we have to write the query set into let's take my customer to the table that I created customer values that we need to pass the two values so will be two parameters now pst dot function set integer so first value will be u dot we'll get it from bean class get customer id g dot set so second value string so we'll get it from again bean class get customer name and execute the statement by pst dot execute update it will return integer value if it is one it will return success to zero it will return failure and just close the connection now this is my function business functionality now let's create a js success or jsp page and here i need to import the package import equals to com dot mit dot star so i'm importing the package from star now to create the object for the bean class so we need to require use bean let's create an object and it will be there in the class com dot mit dot customer bean now i need to set all the properties so i have to use jsp set property so all the values we need to set so in there in the object to which then Create one variable again status equals to customer tau dot insert customer where I'm passing the object OPJ. Now if the status is status is greater than zero, it means inserted. as in session field next step is going to add the postgres jar file in the web content web inf's lib folder so i'm just copying that it's there copy that jar file and paste it in the lib folder so you'll see jar file gets copied now let's execute this project finish so you'll see my customer page let's enter 101 insert some record let's click submit you see insertion successful and let's see the record so you see the record inserted thank you